Howdy everyone. I know it's been a while, but I have some very exciting news. Uh, my husband and I have just purchased our very first home on five acres and it is going to be the new home of Camille's Mustangs. And we're so excited to just bring this property to life. It needs some work, needs some upgrades and some improvements. We're putting an arena in, we're putting paddocks in. And so I wanted to be able to show you guys uh, some of the process that we're going through to make that happen. It's been a really long time coming to um, buy our own property and make our vision a reality. Um, if you don't know, it is pretty difficult to get approved for a mortgage on a self-employed income. Um, it's a lot easier when you have a nine to five job and an employer, you just kind of provide them that, um, that information and they verify your employment. But when you're self-employed, there's a ton more hoops you've got to jump through to be able to make that happen. Uh, but we were able to get it done. We had some really good people in our corner working with us to make that happen. And uh, this year, the goal was buy a home with some land. And we have made it happen. We've closed on our property. It is all ours. And we get to make our dream a reality, which is just so exciting. So currently, there are no turnouts on the property. It's perimeter fenced. Um, but there's no like sort of stalls or um, individual paddocks for horses. And that's kind of what I need to run my business is I'm gonna have a bunch of big paddocks for client horses. And they're gonna be large. Um, all of them are gonna have trees or some sort of shade in them. Um, they're gonna be wood fenced. And um, I'm really excited to bring that vision to life and uh, provide uh, awesome place to keep my client horses and we're going to be putting an arena on the property as well. There's currently no arena um, but the plan is to fence off an arena and disc up the sand because it's really nice sandy soil that drains super well and I think it's going to make really great footing for riding horses. So that's kind of the tentative plan. We broke ground yesterday on the paddocks and it's kind of going slow. Um, I'm going back and forth every day because we haven't moved the horses yet, but we're living at the new house. So I'm going back and forth twice a day um, to feed horses. And so I went this morning, I actually had a photo shoot this morning at the old uh, house. That's why I'm kind of all made up and uh, I did a photo shoot for a magazine that'll be coming out this fall and then I fed the horses and uh, now I'm on my way back my um, my in-laws and my parents are in town this weekend and they've all been helping um, with the home improvements and the property improvements so I'm going to come back and see where they are and give you guys the initial tour of the property a little uh little yard for the doggies uh this is front pasture i think the plan will be to split this in half for two separate pins um there's like a goat pin in the middle here we're gonna take that out um but yeah that's that's the front pasture and then the, the fence here is down needs replacing um, this is neighbors. It can be very close to our neighbors, which is fine, I hope. <laughs> By the front pasture is the barn. Um, and then this would be like trailer parking area here, probably. Barn. You can tell they've got some crap that needs to go. That's another like goat shed or something. I don't know if they're taking it or what, but we're going to either sell it or something. Um, barn. No door on it now. We're thinking about putting a door on it. Um, there's currently chickens in here and it kind of smells. 
a little bit of space here for hay storage probably um but yeah probably hay storage and uh, maybe a tractor storage if we get one little room here um, probably a meat for grain storage, tax storage, etc. William likes it. And there's, there's lights too. I forget where the switch is, but these lights are super bright. Okay. Back yard area. Um, little back porch. Again, there's some like toys and junk and stuff. So, it looks a little trashy right now, but, and then this fence needs some work. It's falling down. Um, come on now. But there's a little stall or something here. Um, again, that goat pen is going to go. Um, but here's, this goes all the way back. So I think Mustang pins are going to be right here. Run, uh, water pipes back here, spigots, big water troughs. But then this is where it looks like there used to be an arena here. There's kind of an oval tract that's kind of leveled. Um, so what we're probably going to do is rent a tractor and a disker disc this all up again yeah look someone's lunch line is here but this is good stuff i mean this is like really sandy dry stuff i mean my place is still a mud pit so disc all this up and then probably do panel fencing for the arena so we can take that with us when we're done but yeah, I'm standing in what looks like was once an arena. Again, like paddocks running the whole length down here um, until we get to the back. And then I think we'll do one big paddock in the back. And that'll be our, um, our personal horse paddock. So this is what's behind the house. This is the back pasture. Um, it's a narrow, it's a long, narrow property. So that's one fence and that's the other one. But we've got this gorgeous oak tree back here. Um, we've got a couple of ponds. This is all our uh, fencing materials. Um, just driving on back here. I'm gonna go check in with my mom and dad and see how it's coming along. Here's the corner of the arena. So this, this is gonna be arena fence that's gonna, um, separate arena in the paddock and then the arena is going to go most of the way to that tree but not quite all the way um, there will be paddocks along this side too um, to that little tree and then four paddocks back here and enough room to drive in between and dump hay and whatnot to my dad's working with the skid steer we rented uh, punching holes for our fence posts Okay, it's day uh, three of construction and I'm um, starting to address what to do with this fence that separates the front the property, our house, our front pasture, our barn from the back here. I think what I'm going to do, because this is mostly all fallen down, is we're going to have to pull this, it's broken, we're going to have to pull the stump out of there. Um, Drill a hole again, drop a new post. That one's broken, needs replacing. I thought about replacing the whole fence, but some of them are pretty good. So I think what I'm gonna do once we get those posts down is add a top rail of two by four. And where the face, the, the fence is sagging, we can pull it up to that two by four and staple it, have a solid fence. Because this has seen much better days. And then what I think I'm going to do, there's our house, there's a little bet deck that my in-laws built in our little cowboy pool. I think what I'm going to do, I was thinking about resetting this post because see how that, that gate hangs. Um, they did not do a good job when they built this fence. But I think what I'm going to do instead, because this is still kind of solid, um, 
is just take the gate off, put more wire across here and just close that up because there's a big gate right here. I don't honestly see myself going through that one that much. And then again, add that two by four rail and pull the fence up, staple it to the two by four. Then we got this rundown contraption over here. My baby just woke up and started crying. I can hear him on my monitor, so I'm gonna have to quit. But um, I think I'm gonna put a fence from here to here with a little gate in it. Have a little like guest paddock here, nice little space. Um, and then this gate over here needs rehung. And then those T posts, the fence is completely down. So we're gonna replace those T posts with wood posts and uh, get that fence back in working order. Then I gotta tackle this. This gate's completely off its hinges. Gonna take it down, replace it with pipe um, gate. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but um, put two by six rail back up here, add some sort of shade. And this would also be a nice little guest stall. There's for some reason a T-post in here. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, clean all this up, add some shade. And we've got a cute little wash rack here with a mat and water already right here, which is a big deal. Um, but there's also like a bunch of trash back here that I can't even see what all this trash is. So I'm gonna need to come through Weedy. They left us some fencing to use, which is nice. <laughs> um, old basketball goal, which needs to be thrown away. Um, we did buy this property as is, so, you know, it's, uh, we got a really good deal on it. So there's some work that will just need to be done to uh, turn this little diamond into the rough into a real working horse property. First load of horses, getting ready to go to the new place. I've got Muse on the back. Which one is this? Tuxedo and Aurora. I figured I'd bring the three easiest ones first. Not that the roofs aren't easy, but these three get along pretty well because they're all gonna be turned out together. Also got a truck load full of stuff, water buckets, feed buckets, um, a giant bean bag I scored off of Marketplace, which is awesome. Uh, the rest of the horses are eating their breakfast right now. I have six more to move after this. Um, but these are the only ones we'll move today. We're still finishing out the front fence. So uh, my dad, husband, and a friend are working on it right now. We're gonna head back and see where they're at. Alrighty, here we go. I gotta close the gate behind me. So I'm gonna turn the horses out right in this front area that I'm driving through right now. But it looks like they've made some amazing progress. That's that fence in the middle there. These, this perimeter fencing was already here, but we're splitting that paddock into two. So it looks like an actual fence is going up. Uh, are y'all ready to see your new home? Thanks for turning around for me, Muse. Whee! What you think? You're gonna love this grass, yeah. Here, let me switch for you, okay? Make good decisions. Go on, Tux. Go on. She's like, oh my gosh, we don't have nearly this much grass at home. This is home now, baby. Rory did not need to be told twice. Those happy ponies. This won't be like a living paddock. This is kind of our driveway and the barn doesn't have a door on it, which we're gonna get hay and feed into the barn today. Um, but just for right now, uh, this is the safest spot we've got out of the way. They're gonna be, um, they're gonna be in that paddock tonight. Okay, here's what we got so far. We were gonna do this fence cause all our fences back there are like this, but taller, the five foot tall, three rail wood fence. 
We were gonna do that here and then I was like, how awkward would it look to have that whole section be like this and everything around it is just this woven wire. So I decided have some at the ends for stability and then the rest of this will be woven wire. And that saved a little bit on our costs too. So the boys are putting our gate back on. We redid this whole front area because the fence used to go from here and then there was an awkward gate here and then there was another awkward gate here and it was really weird. So we're moving one gate over here then we move this whole fence line over about four feet and now it just feels a lot more natural. The yin is yanging. The fung is swaying. This fence used to sag down to like right here. And after we moved it over, we stretched it out. We added this top rail. Now what the boys are doing is they're stapling the fence to it so that it doesn't sag down anymore. So when horses come over and lean their necks on it, um, they can't destroy the fence. And then the next step is to do the same pretty much with this fence because this fence was pretty much completely on the ground. Got three horses to move today. That's Winona, Connor's Fort Worth Mustang Show horse. Brutus, you'll probably know him. And then Bailey, a client horse. I backed my trailer up to the round pin to see if I couldn't load them all like wild ones. And um, Bailey already jumped right in before I even put any pressure on him. But we're going to see how this goes. See if I can't get them all to jump in at once. Go on, Brutus. That way. Oh, Bailey, come on, you're supposed to lead the group. Good. Good. Go on, Brutus. Okay, we'll try that again. Okay. Well, I got these two trained. <laughs> Winona's like, this is her move. She shoves her head into the dirt like an ostrich. And she's like, la, 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 la. I don't care what's happening. So. Those two know to get on. They're actually staying on right now, which is great. Let's see if I can't get her to join them. Come on. Ah. Okay, here we go. Two on. One more thinking about it. Although she's kind of pulling her ostrich move again. Here you go. Here you go on. That's the right place to be. Good, 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 yay, get on. You're so close. Little tickle. Good girl, go on. Little tickle on the butt. Let's get all feet on, you can fit, I promise you can fit. You can fit, I promise. Look, they're making room for you. Good girl, okay, there we go. Three horses on the trailer, minimal drama. I wanted them this way, um, cause like I said, Brutus and Winona haven't tied on the trailer. Brutus not in a while. And Winona needs a little bit more experience. And so when you put two on the trailer that haven't really tied together and you're doing a 35 minute haul, um, I just didn't want anything to go wrong really. Not that anything was gonna go wrong, but it's always safest. Actually, the safest way to haul horses is just like this. Loose, no ropes on them, nothing. They can balance better that way, actually. Horses like to turn around and face the back when they haul, and um, it's more comfortable for them. And then there's no ropes to get stuck on if one of them decides to be dumb. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, here we go. Perfect job backing up, as always. Well, actually, we'll see how this goes. Um, they got the gate fixed over there. There's still some lumber out, but I don't think the horses will mess with that. Um, not with all this grass. That's still <laughs> held up by a toe strap, but um, right after I get these horses off, 
I'm gonna go on a supply run. So, I'm gonna get the meat we need and hang out. All right, who's first? Winona, you the first brave soul? No? You a little bit shy? Come on, sweetheart. Okay, if, if y'all don't get off soon, I ain't got all day. There we go. Be free, look at that. There's Brutus, there's Bebe. They're gonna love this. Got the last load of horses <laughs> this morning. Token is like, what? <laughs> Sally and Buho coming back with me to check out the progress the boys are making. They, um, uh, these two have the same owner. They're going to North Carolina later, a little bit later this year. And uh, one of their training uh, requirements was get them used to power tools because they're gonna be pack horses and they're gonna work on uh, trails and clear property. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. No, don't eat the grass. Y'all are supposed to be paying attention. This is your paddocks they're working on. You two are gonna live in that one. Hey, hey, I said pay attention. Gotta take notes. These guys are cool. I'm working by myself today. Connor's working and the baby's napping right in the house. I've got a, his monitor. These are our neighborhood guys. I have no idea whose they are or if anyone owns them, but they come by and they're kind of fun to have around. So. I wanted to include a little bit of myself working on some of the fences because even though up to this point in this video it's just been clips of other people working while I record, <laughs> I actually am quite handy and I did do a lot of the work myself. Um, I just didn't want to ask anybody else to record me because that would take uh, time away from the project. But on this day while I was by myself, I decided to record a little bit of the process of fixing this metal fence. Um, that's a brace that I held up to measure, um, cut, and then you can watch me struggle to um, put it back up and uh, screw it in because I had nobody else, obviously, <laughs> to hold it for me. Um, so that was just a little bit of a process. That was kind of the hardest part was um, getting that to stay still while I screwed it in and put all the screws I needed to put in. And then once I got all the screws in, there were a few for each side. Uh, this is the process of stretching that fence back up. Um, I used that hammer as kind of a lever to um, pull that fence where I needed to be. And then I just put a couple staples in each section to make sure that fence would uh, stay where it needed to be and not sag like it used to. Okay, there's where I had to quit today. So I ran out of 10 foot two by fours, but you can see it's looking much better. It's still not gonna win any beauty pageants. Cause if you look down this way, you can tell how crooked it is. For example, this is one of the posts we reset because it was broken. So we pulled the old post out using the skid steer, drilled a hole again and dropped um, a repurposed post in there um, straight. And you can really tell how much the ones we didn't fix sag. This one we didn't fix. That one's a brand new one. Um, that, the rest of that we didn't fix. <laughs> and then, you can look down the line here. We didn't have to fix any of those. So you can just really tell how, how unlevel all of these posts are. And really what we ought to have done 
If we wanted it to look pretty is pull every single post out and reset it. I hear my baby just woke up on the monitor. But um, we didn't really have the time, resources, or energy for that when that still has a really long way to go. So this works now. It's not pretty, but it's better than it was before. My intern's got her car here because the barn does not have a door and I turned everybody out so they could have some grazing time. But this barn has been totally transformed. All our stuff is still kind of messy. Um, some of the tech's gonna go in there, but the that's gonna be my feed room. We got a delivery of hay today. And so that takes up most of our space in here. But it totally feels more like a cozy barn. My intern helped me this morning. She is amazing. This is completely transformed. Um, they left some paint cans. And I was like, let's keep those because, you know, like freestyle decorating. And there's some more paint samples and tape up in there. I'm going to reorganize this some more. Probably put like horse medicines and stuff in here. But it is completely sweeped out and cleaned thanks to the help of my amazing intern. It's 2 p.m. on a Tuesday. We finally broke down and hired some professional help to finish the arena. We finished one of the paddocks um, this morning. Now we're working horses. we are being really good with the commotion going on, so some good desensitizing happening here. But yeah, we hired this guy who was recommended by his friend. He said, I'm bringing my crew. We'll finish the arena in your front paddocks in four days. His crew turned out to be him and his kid, who's about 10 years old. But they've been knocking it out. They've pretty much finished this whole side of the arena. They started at 7 a.m. today, and they set some more posts for the arena. So he told me four, maybe five days, and uh, they'll finish up the front and uh, hopefully by then we'll finish up those back paddocks. So, might be like a little bit of, like a week behind schedule, but we definitely needed some help. There's a little bit of a breeze up here. Here's where we are. Almost all the fences are done. My dad uh, went and picked up the trencher we rented today and we are digging the trenches to run some water out here. So there's the house. It's the line he's doing to get water from uh, the closest spigot out there. Past the round pen. Gonna be water here. Eventually in the fall we're gonna build a big tack room here. Wash racks right here. Um, so that water spigot will come to the wash racks. Here's our arena. Not yet disked. <laughs> um, this paddock is all done except for we've got a shade structure we're putting up in between those two. This paddock's all done, that paddock's all done, the one behind it's all done. Uh, we just need to finish these two here and uh, we'll be done with our fences. Well, here's where we're at. About, I don't know, 20 minutes of this. We've run into some rocks, so I'm currently trying to break these up so we can get deep enough to where we need to go. Okay, so I've actually been able to chip away at this. See, those are giant pieces of rock by using the end of my hammer here like a pickaxe. And I think I actually got through most of this rock so my dad can come back through with the trencher and get it as deep as he wants it. Wait, open it. Hmm? Open it. We got water. How long did it take you? Connor, while well, I painted cabinets while the baby napped, Connor went and did all of these uh, lines by himself. I don't know. Two, two hours? Three, three, three hours? Three hours. And we got water. The end got clogged up with dirt and stuff 
from putting the pipes in so it wasn't working but we just took the the end out and let the water push all the dirt and crap out and now it's running clean it was really muddy there for a second There you go. There's the corner. Grab it, girly. Dogs are loving it already. Make it? Maybe. Come on, stretch oh. it. Ah! Oh my what? god, I need the wind to stop. Huh? I need the wind to stop. starting oops, geez, to look like an arena still needs some work they haven't quite finished all the corners they'll need like continued working we plan on dragging it like every day pretty much um so it looks really really good there's still some kind of hills and valleys still some brush but we've been using the box blade on the tractor to rip up all of the vegetation. Some of that grass is stubborn, so you can go over it a few more times. All the different circles and angles and stuff. It's looking like an arena now, which is awesome. And then we need to take all the brush out of there. We kind of been dumping it in the corner. All right, stalls are finished. Shade sails are hung. My dad is working a little bit more on the arena, leveling it out, getting rid of the vegetation. Uh, Connor and I are moving horses back into pens. We moved the first four um, individually, and then we said, this is taking too long. So we grabbed a feed bucket, grabbed a couple horses. The rest of them are just loose, following their way back here. All right, so here's a view of everything. Got turnout, turnout, turnout. Turnout. This one has a pond in it. Um, got two turnouts here. These are shade structures because these didn't have trees. And then my dad is working on grooming up our arena a little bit. And there we 
have it. We're just about done. Well, it's end of ride time for Muse. It's been a while since the last video that I recorded for this uh, YouTube video, but I wanted to give you guys a really good look at the after of what we've been doing. So, um, it's September now. Muse and I have already competed in the Fort Worth Mustang Show as of posting this video, recording this video. Um, she came reserve champion. So check out her freestyle video if you wanna see how well she did. Um, I ended up, little sidebar life update, I ended up buying her back um, for a couple reasons. She didn't meet my reserve price that I had in mind for her. Um, so I spent all of my winnings actually to buy her back. Um, but also I just had no idea really who the high, the other high bidder was or would have been. And that didn't really make me comfortable. So I decided might as well bring a really nice mare home, train her up some more, then offer her for sale in the future. She's really sweaty. We had a hard workout tonight. But here's the finished product. We've got one large pin here with lots of trees. That's Moonlight. That's her pin right now. Another large pin here with one tree. As Tux and Brutus are inhabiting that one. Here's Bay Bay, um, also known as Bailey. Says so her large pin here. Um, another little sidebar. We have had a horrible drought this summer, which is why um, things aren't as green as when we bought it. In the first videos we recorded, you'll see everything's really dusty and dry right now. Here's Solly and Bujo. There's lo their large pen. I forgot to show you their pond, but it's completely, almost completely dry now. Token, the warm blood, and his pen. And here are those shade structures that we put up. And this chute here in between the arena, so bouncy, <laughs> I'll walk again. In between the arena and these pens, there's Jimmy, the thoroughbred. Is really nice for feeding, because you can see I've got these hay chicks feeders here. Um, all I've got to do is literally shove the hay in those every feeding and, um, super easy. Then buckets on the fence. I take my truck down here with all the buckets and all the hay bales that I need and just throw their food at them and they're good to go. So it makes life so much easier, which is what the whole design of this property was about was making life easier. Eventually we're going to have a tack room and wash racks over here. Um, right now I've just got my trailer and then at the start of every day, I kind of put the tack I'm going to use that day out on the fence and then I store it in the trailer overnight. Um, I have some obstacles, mostly just like poles and stuff set out in this field. That's going to be a permanent obstacle field. This is Pontiac <laughs> little Spanish Mustang I have in for halter training. Um, Lanai in the round pin slash Mustang pin. Um, she is my Mustang Magic mare. If you've been following my Instagram and my YouTube, you've seen, or sorry, my, my Facebook, you've seen a post or two about her. Um, here's another completely dry pond. Um, this will remain obstacle field here. This, um, on this side of that uh, red home, that's my neighbor's home, is going to be the future site of the Mustang gentling pins. I aim to have four pins eventually. That stall over there still needs fixing up. Um, backyard. Our little, I don't think I've shown y'all this yet, really up close. Here's our little cowboy pool, which is super fun. Um, great place to cool off in between um, riding horses or the middle of the day. Our new tractor, um, our scrap pile for uh, building supplies and such is over here. Um, those tires I'm eventually going to move to our obstacle course. That's our freestyle props. Um, this is where I park my truck most of the time because I feed out of it for morning and p.m. feedings. And then this cool little runway of lights was my dad's idea. My dad and my hubby finished working on that. It's Rory, my girl. 
She says, I missed you, Muse. These two live together up here for right now. But anyways, that's about it. That's um, where the ranch makeover will pause for right now. The end of phase one and phase two will include all of those cool things that I was talking about. The Mustang pins, the um, tack room, the wash racks, um, fixing up that stall thing <laughs> over there. Uh, so you've still got some work to do, but I'm really, really pleased with how it's come along so far. It's turned into a great little horse training facility. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this ranch makeover. Maybe it inspired you guys um, to do something a little bit different with your own place.